found them. That's my little baby. So young. So long ago. Mrs. Wintergreen. He's crying out for me. He's hungry. I must go to him. Don't! But I have to. He needs his mommy. And I don't think I really have a choice, do I? Don't do this! I've wanted to see him again for such a long time. I never dreamed it would happen. Oh, my beautiful boy. You are my sunshine, my gone. Why did she go? It was too late to save her. She couldn't help herself. Siriath uses the dead against us. We can't say no to them. I can. We've got to stop this. The house of the dead is falling into the rift. Not long now. Uh, I, I'm still holding. What is this box exactly? Is it a bomb? Yanto. Open it. It's, it's just pebbles. Coal. Rocks from the hills, coal from the cellar, and a tiny detonator. Just enough to make a lot of dust. Dust? All of Wales is a giant battery of stored rift energy. Cardiff Council think it's radon, but something far richer is held in these stones. It's harmless. Unless you release it as one world falls into another. That's how you're going to destroy Syria. <laughs> the moment she reaches this world, I'm going to detonate the energy stored in that package. It'll wipe out Syria and seal the rift forever. And these stones' horizons sing. Seal the rift. Its time has come. <coughs> oh, hello. Hope I'm not interrupting. Not now, Dad. I've only popped in for a word. You must be Jack. I've heard so much about you. I'm not from Yanto. He was always too busy. From Siriath? I wouldn't trust her. No, I've heard about you from those people you've sent to the land of the dead. Or the people you've killed. That's enough. There's a lot of people there. Can't wait to see you again, Captain. But I'm here for my son. Really? Yanto, listen to me. Just this one say. Consider what you hold in your hands. The world's last chance. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. It's the key to the land of the dead. You'll seal us all away forever. Do you want that, son? If not for me, for your mum. Don't. I'm sorry. We can't let that creature escape. Whatever the price. Really, Jack? What if I told you that you can take Yanto and leave? Turn around and go. He won't, Dad. You know what your problem is, son. You always think you know best. No, I'm not asking you. I'm asking Jack. What do you think? Turn around and walk out of here? Jack, we can't. Never give me a chance when I was living and breathing. And you won't now that I'm dead. Dad, I'm sorry. You're not real. You're just a ghost. Why should I believe a word you say? I never could give you what you wanted. But I can give Jack something very special indeed. Can't I, Jack? Mr. Jones, you should be proud of your son. There's no one I'd rather have by my side when I defeat Siriath. Thanks, Jack. Hmm. My boy's quite special to you, isn't he? Uh, he won't take up any more of your precious time. She will win. Jack. You knew who you'd find if you came to the House of the Dead, didn't you? Yes. Just go. I can't believe that you're going to let him die. Again. Goodbye, Yanto. Jack. Who's dead? Who does he mean? The person I knew I'd find if I came here. 
to the last night of the House of the Dead. <laughs> Yato Jones. Jack? What? Yanto. Six months ago, you died in my arms. You're a ghost. No. I came looking for you. I couldn't resist it. I'm dead. You were here waiting for me when I walked in. Yanto Jones. Never late. But I feel... Real. I'm not a ghost. I had porridge this morning. Didn't I? Jack? I can't remember. I didn't think you'd be so real. I... I had hoped for less. Thanks. No, you, you don't understand. I thought it would just look like you. It... I, I could have coped with that. I didn't dream it would actually be you. Sirius used my grief and she reached into time. She recreated you, Yanto, and I... Oh, I can't bear to look at you. You can't... Jack! No, sorry, Yanto, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I... Don't touch me. Don't. Okay. So... How did I die? It was all over so quickly. Not an answer. Was it your fault? You were one of the first victims of an alien plague. <laughs> it was so brave. You died saving the world. Well, you'd think I'd remember that. But I don't. Did I get a funeral? I don't know. I wasn't there. What? I had to leave. I am sorry. You couldn't leave me. Rest in peace. You've done this to me. Dragged me back just to say goodbye. This, this isn't about closing the rift. Destroying that creature or even your bloody stones. It's not even about me. This. This is all about you, Jack. Yanto, this isn't how I planned it. What were you hoping for? So let's say a few nice words that I'd be grateful. I just wanted to see you one more time, that's all. It's it's why I came here. Well, that's lovely. Yanto, all the people I've lost, don't you understand? The only one I wanted to see was you. Thanks. At least you didn't forget me. How could I? I may be immortal, but I don't forget. I lose everyone, but I don't forget any of you. I work so hard to remember. You make it sound like charity work. Don't say that. Never say that. Jack, I didn't think the last thing I'd ever say to you would be this. Just go away, please. This is horrible. I had to see you again. You have no idea what it felt like coming back to life and knowing the world was empty. Because you'd gone. No matter how many times I die, I always wake up alone. I didn't ask to come back. Neither did I! <laughs> you and me, Yanto Jones, together again at the end. How it should be. In a few seconds, Sirith will rise. I'll trigger this device destroying her and sealing the rift forever. You're not planning on coming back, are you? <laughs> no. It'll be a pretty big bang. You can't die. Next best thing. Eternal oblivion. Lost in the space between worlds forever. And come on. It's quite a way to go. Huh. I think I've lived long enough. I've seen you once more. What else is there? Well. We could just go. What? My dad said we could both leave together. <laughs> Never. You're kidding, right? You mean leave here? Why not try it? The rift. 
Ancient evil. Magic pebbles. Just for once. Let someone else deal with it. Can we do that? I'm real, aren't I? Oh, it'll never work. We cross that doorway, we'll be back in the real world. What if you vanish? What, what'll happen? That's no reason for not trying. Seems a shame, you know. To get me back only to lose me again. A touch careless. <laughs> True. Syria, the last remnant of a dead universe. Ah, she's not so special. But there's only one Yanto Jones. And there's only ever been one Captain Jack Harkness. Ah, <laughs> oh, screw it! Worth a try. Let's leave the device here for Syria. This whole place is falling into the rift. <laughs> we better go now. Cross that doorway and there's no coming back. Why would I want to? I've got you back, Yanto. Let's do this. Come on, Yanto, be brave. Always. Welcome back to the land of the living, Yanto Jones. Has it worked? Are you real again? Yanto! Yanto? I'm not coming. Yanto, no! Come on! There's still time! No, Jack. You know I can't. My place is here. In the house of the dead. With your device. Saving the world! Don't do this! Sorry, Jack. Someone's got to destroy the rift. Find a way to go! No! Not like this! Don't leave me like this! Gotta go! Yanto, no! I never said it properly before! Doesn't need saying. Yes, it does! Yanto Jones! I love you! And I love you too, Jack. Right then. Let's get a move on. Goodbye, Jack! Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry? Hello. I'm looking for the ghosts. What? At the House of the Dead. Most haunted pub in Wales it is. They're holding a seance tonight. I hope I'm not late. It's closed. Closed? You miss the ghosts. The House of the Dead is gone. But it's on my sat-nav. It's around you somewhere. I know it is. Goodbye, Yanto. In The House of the Dead, Captain Jack Harkness was played by John Barrowman, Gwen Cooper by Eve Miles, and Yanto Jones by Gareth David Lloyd. Mrs. Wintergreen was played by Roz Ayres, Barry by Bradley Freegard, and Mr. Jones by John Francis Harris. Helen was played by Lucy Davis, Ness by Moira Quirk, and the late arrival by Shelley Reese. The House of the Dead, part of Torchwood The Lost Files, was written by James Goss. It was a BBC Cumbry Wells production, directed by Kate McCall. If you've enjoyed this program, you might like to try other Radio 4 podcasts, from Friday night comedy and daily drama from the Archers, to a range of news, discussions and documentaries. For a full list of available podcasts, visit bbc.co.uk slash 